Figuring out the best anything in Warzone just got significantly easier. You're looking for the best hipfire build? You can go ahead and find the best hipfire build. Looking for the fastest fire rate? You can get the fastest fire rate. Or you're looking for the best strafe speed or one of the other various stats in the game, we're gonna go ahead and get you covered. True Game Data recently updated their site with the best stat calculator. Before it was a TTK calculator because obviously people wanna find the fast TTK. And now it includes way more options and is super easy to use. So for example, let's say we wanna go ahead and add a specific SMG. Let's go ahead and add all SMGs. There they are, clear as day. We can go ahead and go from there. And then now we can go ahead and scroll down. And if we wanna go ahead and figure out the TTK at close range, we can check nine meters, 15 meters. Maybe. We we want to go ahead and figure out the best ADS speed at random. What can we get the fastest ADS speed out of any SMG? I haven't seen that list. And then we can go ahead and flip the values and we can get a 116 millisecond aim down sight. Obviously, there's going to be some builds that maybe aren't practical, but it can kind of highlight a specific option that maybe people haven't been thinking about. An example of this might be bullet velocity. Maybe you want to hit somebody at range. Maybe you want to make a low recoil option, but want to find out what has the best bullet bullet velocity. AK-74U is pretty good. That's out of the SMG. So if you're thinking sniper support, maybe the AK-74U could be that sniper support option because of the bullet velocity it has. If you want to go ahead and add the rifles into the category, you can go ahead and generate that list. And then all of a sudden you can go ahead and see the AS-44 has significantly fast bullet velocity. Obviously the P90 is still at the top. But you can check out the uh, automaton if you like guns that feel closer to hit scam. The other thing is just like hip firing. You can go ahead and then go the hip fire route and then go that route and you can go ahead and find out, huh? ISO, which is the one we showed off, uh, but there's so many different little characteristics. Or if you want to figure out what guns are versatile across various modes, maybe we add the LMGs in the mix. So we're going to have every gun and we can instantly look it up. Maybe we want to go ahead and check out at 100 meters just to find out the furthest range. And we're gonna figure out the DPS at those various ranges. We'll go ahead and even include the combination shot, which kind of gives you a better idea on how practical or how often you're gonna get a particular uh, TTK. Because sometimes guns, you need like three chest shots and a neck shot and a head shot to get a good TTK. Other ones, you might need all limbs and it still has a good TTK. So we'll go ahead and do that. Boom, generate the list. And the highest DPS at infinite range is the Marco. Obviously the bullet velocity won't match it, but you can kind of see where the Marco sit, takes up a lot of those spots. AS44 because of that fast fire rate. So like, let's say we, we don't think the Marco is going to be practical. We can actually go over here and say, you know what? I don't want the Marco in my results. I don't want the AS44 in my results. So right here, AS44, and then go ahead and regenerate the list. It'll load really quickly. And then now we have the Blixen, the Automaton. So one insane DPS, we can actually look at the M4A one. The Nikita is actually has a very good DPS if we want to go ahead and try that out. And that'll allow you to put out damage as fast as possible because it has a fast fire rate. Obviously, it does have a little bit of a weakness of the damage per mag, but if you're playing smaller game modes, you can figure that part out. I, I recommend definitely trying this out. Maybe you're someone who only wants to use MW guns. This could be an advantage as well. Go through all MW guns, go right there, pop it in. Now we have all the MW guns. We can compare them based off TTKs and this combination. We can automatically go, all right, cool. The CX-9 comes out on top. This is the one I have to use. That's a 12 round mag. You can see that's incredibly broken. You can see the Fennec, you can actually get away with using the normal ammo at 608. And that is probably the most competitive, even though you're only gonna have a 40 round mag. Let's say you only want Cold War guns. Boom, you do the exact same thing and you can continue on that path. So there's a lot of great options. If you're looking to just experiment a little bit, there's a lot of stuff to just play around with. And it can kind of save that time of having to go through each individual attachment and trying to figure out in theory craft, this at least guides you in a direction so you don't have to do a lot of that work if you really want to step outside the meta. If you're a meta chaser, you're going to be stuck using the meta. That's cool. But if you want to try and figure out stuff that is still fun but can compete, that's kind of what you got to do. So I definitely recommend checking it out. It is a benefit of the premium, but I think I'm going to kind of look at this a little bit more and figure out some maybe fun hip fire builds because I know there's a lot of people that really love hip firing and kind of narrow down the top three or top four hip fire builds after I've kind of weeded out the bad setups that maybe aren't as practical for most game modes. A link is in the description if you want to go ahead and check this out on your own. Appreciate all the support. Thank you for watching. As always, have a great day.